Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I'm being called to use the flash deck for your reading tonight. Yeah, okay. Your person's talking to somebody about you, Cancer. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Um, I've got to make this reading really quick because I'm having some company over, okay? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend, or at least a start to your weekend, right? Yeah, see, somebody is telling somebody they they feel guilty for what they did to you here. They feel really guilty for what they did to you, and they don't know what to do, okay? They don't know what to do. They treated you like an option. They put in no effort in the situation, okay? They want to start some new things, or maybe they said they had just started things with you, um, but it was a kind of, um, it was short. It was a short period of time with this person, maybe, because it felt temporary, or maybe they knew that they were playing you. That's what this is. They knew that, that they were playing you. This is, a, this is someone who's extremely guilty. They need to get it off of their chest, so they're, so they're telling a friend. They're literally saying, I'm guilty for playing cancer and leaving them behind like an option. That's what they're saying here. They came in with empty promises. They knew they weren't going to stay. They knew that those promises were lies. They knew they were going to leave you behind, take advantage of you, and leave you behind. And that's what they're confessing here, just to another friend. Yeah, somebody is shocked. I feel like their friend is like absolutely shocked by this. Like, you what? They're coming clean, Cancer. They're telling everybody everything. Yeah. This person, I feel like they're saying, I'm going to forever see you a bit differently now. Yeah. They literally can't believe what they're hearing here from this person. They're like, I can't believe that you did that to someone else. I can't believe you did that to cancer. I can, what? Like, what? Because I feel like when this happened, somehow you, I don't know, they took, they gave you the blame for this somehow. Okay? They put the blame on you or just left you there with the burdens. Didn't, they, it, they acted like they didn't care. They just left you on the wayside. Okay, and their friend is literally shocked. Yeah. Yeah, this is a whole lot of talk about you. Okay, but the truth, all the truth is coming out. Somebody, this friend that they're talking to may even see this person as fairly abusive. Okay, like abusive of their power or... It's the shocking um, reaction they're having is like, how could you have done something like this, right? They're mad. They're mad at this, at this masculine. They're angry with them. They're shocked and angry. Wow. They're looking at this masculine like they're a snake now. Like, who are you? This could be, I just heard, we've been friends forever, and that's what I just heard. We've been friends forever, and I never knew that you could do something like this, or you could stoop this low, or you could do something this low to hurt cancer. Because I feel like there were other people that knew that you really cared about this person. They knew that you... Um, you genuinely loved them. You know, I feel like um, you were really good to them. And this person hurt you for no reason. Oh my gosh. They see this masculine now as a snake. Okay. For real. I feel like they're, they're going to, they're not going to know what to say. Um, I keep seeing the, the scissors card, and that's telling me that um, they're going to lose a friend over this. Yeah, they're going to say to their friend, I've been afraid to fess up. Because I feel like this person, like I said, they dumped all the burdens of this onto you. 
and other people could have been um, criticizing you, talking about you behind your back, putting the blame on you, you know, ruining your reputation. I feel like that's what's been going on. And this masculine is finally admitting that it was their fault, you know, and this masculine is saying, I've been afraid to tell you because they, they know that they were going to get this reaction. They knew that people would react like this, shocked and angry. Yep, they're saying, I'm sorry, you know, uh, they're in a lot of regret, okay? They're in a lot of regret. Yeah, th I feel like, yep, this person is saying, now, now look what you've done, right? Now look what you've done. Look, the one that you had was the sweet one. How could you have done, you did this to cancer? That's what they're saying, you did this to cancer? You were this brutal? to cancer cancer is a sweetheart you know and now they're saying now cancer is moving on cancer's closing out a cycle they may even um they may see that you have some kind of public platform too i feel like some of these people in this person's friend group or family group have been watching you maybe on your platform Okay, wherever, whatever you're doing on social media. You know, so this friend is saying, you know, you, you did this to cancer and then you let cancer get away. They're, they're disgusted. Wow. They are so disgusted with this person. They, they walk away feeling ashamed. Where was that? I just saw the chicken card, but it's, <laughs> it's not there now. They walk away feeling ashamed. The chicken in reverse. Okay. Okay, what else can you show me? Hermit energy, I'm telling you, you know, usually in hermit energy, I say that the person is looking at all the other people in their group and realizing they were around fake people. But this time it's their friend group that's looking at them and realizing they were the fake one the whole time. They were the fake one. Their friend is shocked. I, I keep hearing, I've known you forever. I've known you forever, and I can't believe you would do something like this. You know, cancer's like wish fulfillment. Cancer gave you unconditional love. Cancer, you, are, you had a beautiful life with cancer. I mean, this is the Ten of Cups. You had the Ten of Cups with cancer. I can't believe you did this. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen after this? I feel like their friend is going to stop being their friend. They're, I don't think they'll ever be able to look at this person the same way again. Their friend is disgusted. You know, they could have chose someone else over you because of money. And, and that could be something that they're admitting. That they didn't think you had enough money. They judged you for materialistic reasons. They were very shallow, superficial, and they lost their Ten of Cups. Their friend is pointing that out to them. Wow. They're confessing to everything, though. Okay? Oh, definitely. And I feel like this is going to be going on this weekend, and their friend is going to be like, See ya, dude. See ya. I'm too disgusted. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Man, you know what? No. This is making this friend sick what they're finding out. This is a full confession of how they broke your heart and treated you like you were garbage. And how they, they lied to everybody. They allowed you to take the blame this whole time. And they, they used you and they misjudged you. They let you go because they didn't think that you were enough. But hey, this, even this friend knows it. You were good enough for them to use, just not good enough to hold on to. This, this is disgusting to this friend. They're, they're saying, see ya. See ya, pal. Friendship over. Seriously. They'll never look at them the same way again. Wow. 
let's see how your person feels whoever this is that's making the confession sad is on the bottom of the deck this is why they're confessing they can't it's weighing so heavy on their conscience they had to tell someone they had to get it off of their chest they thought they could tell their best friend that they've known for years okay um and their best friend is like how could you have done this see they i feel like the people that they're that are in their inner circle are going to start turning away from this person this person's going to end up feeling very alone when they tell their friend and their friend walks away okay all because they hurt you yeah this person's going to be mad or their friend their friend is going to be mad at them okay they're gonna they're gonna be angry with this person for what they've done for hurting you okay cancer wow so they're losing a lifelong friend, their best pal. But their their friend is um a person of character. Okay? Maybe this was someone that they they believed this person and said that's, you know, you were the blame for things. I don't know. But yeah. Yeah, now I feel like you're getting vindicated. This is vindication behind the scenes. It is. This is just another win for you behind the scenes, Cancer, okay? You know, the truth is being told. The story's coming out. And this person, it's, way, it's, it's really heavy on their conscience, okay? And they're losing a friend, all right? Yep. And now the, the, more people are going to hear about this. I'm telling you, their friend is so disgusted, they're going to say something to somebody else. And if you live in a small town, you know, that hits, that, that gossip goes around like wildfire, right? So, like, um, everybody's going to end up knowing. People are going to be really disgusted with this person. Even, even your haters, I feel, a lot of the haters will turn on this person as well. Because they're going to be finding out the truth. Yeah, they're going to be finding out the truth. It's exposure. Look, because what they did to you. What they did to you. You had a whole group of people believing that all of this was your fault and you did nothing wrong. All you did was want to love somebody and believe someone's lies and empty promises. Okay, this person took advantage of you and... Um, threw you to the wolves people have been criticizing you sending you spiritual attacks putting the blame on you dragging your reputation through the dirt this whole time and this person has said nothing until now and now they're making a confession to their best friend and even their best friend is disgusted with them the truth is coming out the truth is coming out cancer Okay, and this person, I feel like they're going to be left alone. People are going to see them as being heartless. Okay, they're going to see this person as being heartless. Ooh, we cancer. Um, let's get some advice for you, my darlings. What advice can you give me for cancer? Yeah, Spirit says, go by the book. You're being led to walk away from this person and release them. I feel like their whole clan, if you look at this, it looks like a soul tribe. Their whole soul tribe is going to end up walking away from them as well. Okay? You're about to be blessed with something new in your life. All right? It's time for you to rest, rejuvenate um clear your head clear the energy some of you may even need to do a home cleansing okay um you need to get outside get grounded right now you've been through a lot cancer and it's the end to a cycle spirit wants you to get some rest rejuvenate you know um you love your home i feel like you're gonna be just kind of spending a lot of time around your home some of you have recently moved into a new home and it feels much more comfortable you don't feel like you're being watched you don't feel like you're being followed 
You feel like, okay, if I go to the grocery store, I'm not going to run into somebody who's flipping talking about me, even though I didn't do anything wrong to anybody, right? Blaming me for stuff. I, I feel like you had the whole town or a whole group talking about you everywhere you went. And you're like, why? I didn't do anything wrong. You've been the only one who's been honest in this. Well, now the truth is coming out. Okay, uh, the truth is coming not uh, coming out and everyone's opinions are changing about you. Okay, because they're seeing who was really guilty here. You know, and spirit spirits protecting you. Yep. Ooh, cancer. Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps and resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Yay. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.